today we are honored to have this person who is respected in the music industry and credited as the originator of the hip life genre of music so we have no other person than reggie rockstone this is role model africa and we're excited to have you viewing the show thank you welcome to the show reggie thank you sir so this is role model africa and okay. um, we want to appreciate the business aspect of what you do i want to find out um what does it mean to be godfather of hip life it feels yeah. great it's an accolade that i i appreciate especially because it's one that i didn't put on myself they call me that so it's, it's very genuine it's true you know they call james brown the godfather of soap Okay. You know, and they call Michael Jackson a kennel of pop. So it's cool to be the godfather of hip life, you know what I mean? Should we believe that there was nothing previously like hip life originally? I think you are right in believing that there wasn't. There was nothing like hip life before. There was high life, but in the history of Ghanaian music, hip life is probably the most prolific, ever documented, youth-oriented movement, ever. Maybe perhaps High Life didn't have modern, the technology that we have today, you know, you got Facebook, all that stuff. These are great times where young, hip life is not just gone in, inspired the whole of Africa. Young Africans all over the world. Because around the time that I came, is when Eminem and, you know, okay, yeah, so, Young folks, you know, Two Face always says to me, he said, Omar, when I saw you rapping in vernacular, I knew it. You know, and it's weird because English is my first language. Okay. I learned to speak Cree. Oh, I see. Yes. Interesting. But I would become a revolutionary with the very language. And also, I come from Pan African roots, my father. So I wasn't one of them kids who was born out there and came home you know, not knowing who they were, was. I came home already African, even though I was born over there. So, you know, my mother says, you have a unique accent. You know, when I speak, you can hear New York, you can hear, you can hear UK, where I was born, and you can hear my Shanti uh, affection on, on my accent. What are the realities of introducing something new into a system that already exists? For example, how you introduce a new genre that we have now. It's always a great feeling, you know. In in in, in my language, we say, "My mustn't be in you know. Nothing under the sun is new, mm -hmm. you know. Really, it's all recycled. Okay. Our very planet does 360, so everything comes right back around again. Okay. So you know what I'm doing or what I did is nothing new. It's been done before. However. It is beautiful to still be alive and actually watch what it is that you created blossom. Okay. When I'm sitting down and I'm watching Sakwadia and watching EL, you know, I call them my sons. You know, I'm watching and to reinvent myself being a new group v, VIP, mm -hmm. VIP, who, who comes from hip life. Thank you. Yesterday. Thank you, sir. Good. Yeah, we did. We won something. Yeah. And all of the above, I think that's the highlight for me. That's how I can I could truly say that I am blessed. Because, you know, Kool Herc, check your hip hop history. He's the one that came up with the words hip hop. Okay. But he's not rapping, he's not in the trenches like I am. Okay. I, we're picking up awards still. We're still in the system. Relevant, still engaged. Yes, hey, thank you, sir. Would you say music is business? Music falls under the umbrella of show. Okay, is this something that can sustain the life of a person and a family? Of course. Damn. It's not like I'm telling you something new. It's, uh, it's, been, it's, it's been done. It's been as we speak. Okay. The Jacksons only make music. Mm -hmm. Ooh, uh, MC, name them from Jay-Z, who? Given the opportunity here in Ghana, yeah. would you advise we create a platform, say, a tertiary institution that trains people in music? Yes, we could always do with the help. I came into music by default. It's something that I liked. I was born dancing. I grew up in a very eclectic home. There's all the music in my house. I never planned to make music as a business. Okay. 
Actually, I still don't. <laughs> I just, it's just something that I do. This is business, owning okay. a, a spot. But it comes from music. I know this office. Yes. What other businesses are around it? Endorsement have... deals. Okay, good. Um, as I speak, I'm, 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 a, I'm, an, uh, I'm a judge for Trace, Airtel. Okay. X Factor judge. Mm -hmm. I got a condom line. Yeah. Uh, That's I'm rough, a landlord. Thanks. Yeah. Good. I'm, you know, it just keeps moving. Is music helping to reduce unemployment in any way? Of course it is. Can you imagine how or what Ghanaian youth would be up to without hip life? Oh, they be up to. I don't know. You tell me. I'm already grown. I'm not. I'm, I'm, I'm not young no more. Can okay. you imagine okay. though? From the crime levels to, mm -hmm. you know, the devil mm -hmm. works with idle hands. Now these kids, they they want to be somebody, man. They want to be on a bravo. They want to be a soccer. Yeah, they okay. want to, you know. Looking at where you started from, where yeah. you took it from. What new tweaks can you specifically identify have come on board the industry? What new? New developments, new frontiers. Oh, oh, so much. I mean, Sarkodia has a clothing line. Um, my brother Zeal has a shop, a clothing shop. Okay. Samini has a club. Okay. Um, uh, uh, my brother from 4X4 has a clothing shop. Yeah. Uh, oh man. The Jean Hit Life. Yeah. What new developments have been associated with it? Different from what you were doing. Well, it's open now. I mean, Stoneboy and Shakta and all of them out there picking up BET awards internationally. Okay. okay. Um, people like EL, he goes to South, South by South, uh, I forgot the name, conferences. Um, employment of course because all of the people who are associated with these people who I just mentioned is a team so some some people get paid for making these folks who they are um, you have the likes of Jay-Z coming to Ghana uh, Ludacris Rick Ross that's all money you know what I mean it's coming in entertainment Akon I mean it's it's, it's, it's open okay you winning and receiving awards ever since. Okay. Does it make any difference receiving one yesterday? No. I think this is for Brother Zeal. I'm not really an award guy. I'm, I'm just happy to be here. You're, You're a role model to many people, not only in the showbiz industry too. A lot of young people, a lot of older folks too. Give us some few words for these people who will be watching us now. Oh man, just live your life, man. Sometimes you vex, sometimes you're not. Get you a good woman, argue, Make up, drink plenty water, <laughs> eat green, and overall just have a positive attitude always. You know what I mean? We're not perfect, you know, we're all gonna go at some point, but and don't be too serious, man. Be light. Okay. Have a laugh. Laugh. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I wouldn't stop asking, but you mentioned get a good woman. How supportive is your wife to what you do? As we speak, you're standing right behind you. <laughs> you can yeah, zoom in. <laughs> That's okay. our support. So that speaks. So Reggie, we'd like to thank you so thank much you, for your time. Thank you, sir.